Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is MySQL Shorts. Before we talk about the process of importing JSON data, let's look at the data we were using for this demo. This is not an array of JSON objects. Instead, it is a list of JSON objects delimited by line breaks. This format is similar to how data looks when exported from other NoSQL databases. Now that we know what the data looks like, let's import it into our document store. We will use the same schema and collection we created in episode four. After we start MySQL shell and connect to our database, we only need to execute one command, util.importjson. The import JSON method takes two arguments. The first argument is the absolute path to the JSON file we want to import. If you are on Windows, you must use a forward slash as the path delimiter. If you don't, you will get an error that the file does not exist. The second argument is a JSON object that contains the schema name and the collection name. In this example, we are using test underscore schema and test underscore collection, respectively. When we execute this command, we will receive a message telling us how many documents were imported and how long it took. To verify the import was successful, we need to tell MySQL shell to use the schema named test underscore schema. Then we call the find method on the db.test underscore collection object. When we call this method, we can see that our documents were imported. We'll talk more about the find method in a future video. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we used during this video.